Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. 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 嗯，最好当然是给靠在手的。嗯就是我是想，就是反正我们的称是讲说，但是我们讲 x 一 x，x 一在美国的里面，x 二不在，x 三在x四不在，x 五不在，我们的x 一 x 三，x 五全部都一波了嘛，就算肯定有百分之一多。是不一样的称，要要 第二呢？答案蛮长，哪一个？C哈，哪一个？A、B、C，不要拿哪一个。C，有错。第一、第二、第三做到。第二、第三做到。哎，叫你们两个不是可以share的？ 第三做啊？对呀，他三不会啊。我整个西部，哦，你是整个西部会，所以就剩二不懂的了。现在二要，我觉得他四啊，不够。西二。嗯。
okay, fix zero. The case of fixed level. So, look on you, you can see from that every. Sequence. Sequence has a convergence of sequence. And Okay, in general, I want to see how this one. put on the one. to fix the Yeah, Okay, 
Así, 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 así. Yeah. Yeah, que ni mucho yo con el mundo ya. Yo soy suficiente. Ok, ni chance, yo tengo su mío, su bien, yo su. Ya voy yo, ya voy. Mío, yo veo. Ok, mío. Ah, yo veo. Mío, ya, yo ya. Ok. Ni, si tal, si tal, yo si tal, yo voy yo. O sea, yo. Mío. Obisan. so I'll give him to a two C two and the team chat. Now today, today we will continue with uh, separation. We will talk about different of separation in uh, topological space. Okay. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like seven of them. Okay, let's see what of the four is. So let's look at a uh, topological space. So this separation uh, is uh, like a uh, going up a level. Okay, going up a level. So first level is we call T0. Okay, so what's T0 here? So for every uh, two distinct points in X, okay, there exists some open U, okay, contain X, but Y is not with you. Or uh, there exists some open V in Y such that uh, X is not in V. Okay, so first level is you have two different points in your topological space. Okay, and then uh, there's this one open set that contains one of them. Either one of them will work such that the other point is not in there. So you can think of uh, two points in this uh, room here. Either one of you have a house. Either one of you have a house. Remember last time we talked about the neighborhood as a house? Okay. Either one of you have a house. Yeah. This is T0. Sorry? Yes, thank you. X is not in V. Good. That's right. Okay. So we separate uh, these two using an open set. Or sometimes we attach this T0 to a mathematician name called Komogorov. Okay. So we say that a space is Komogorov or T0. If there's two distinct, any two distinct point, you have one open set. Okay, that's separate. Define what separate means later, more precisely. Okay, second is T1, okay? T1, I think we met before. T1 we met before. So T1 if for every x not equal to y in x, there exists an open set u contain x, but 
y is not in v. When you look at this, uh, what's the difference between these two definitions? Okay. It's the same. The difference between these two. This has a use similar statement here. So what's the difference here between these two definitions? It's in the other, it's the other case because T1 has to be true for all X, Y. So you can sort X, Y and then use the same definition. But the first one is what you say, all. Either one of them have a house. But for B, both of them have to have a house that separate those two of them. Make sense? So actually in B, uh, it's an M, a statement of M instead of all. So the first statement is all. Second, second statement here actually got a hiding M here because we cannot differentiate what is X and Y. So this, this um, definition will work also that as this is an open U containing Y such that X is not in U. So both have to be true. Right? Not X not equal Y, we cannot differentiate what is X, who is Y. As long as they are different. Okay, does it make sense? Okay, so for T1, okay, you need to exist open set for all points. So if T1 says everyone have a house, okay, T0 maybe, no, no, maybe not everyone have a house here. So T1 here we credit to this uh, mathematician called expression, okay. Very famous guy in topology. Okay. So we can say that a space expression is for two distinct points that exist, uh, of the set that contains y but not contains x. Okay, either way. C T2. Okay, we have met this already. This is credit to Hostov. Okay. Hostov, if uh, maybe you tell me what's Hostov there. For every two distinct point, okay, there's this two open neighborhood such that u contain x, b contain y, and they are destroyed. Okay, good. Okay, can you see that this is a level up now? Can you see the leveling up? So first one, t0, you only have a uh, open set content one of them. The other may be from them. So for, but for T1, both of them are, has a house that separates the other. T tells you that both of them has house, and these two houses have to be far from each other. Okay, maybe I, I don't want to say far because when I talk about far, maybe I'm bringing the metric space notion in. But uh, they cannot have intersections, the two houses. Anything like that? Okay. Question? But maybe U and B can be non intersect, non that maybe U intersect B maybe have non empty intersection. You get what I mean? Right, y is not in you. So let me draw you a picture. So maybe you have an x here, you have a y here. Okay, so you have a u like this, then y is not in you. But what if the every open label who you found around y has non empty intersection here? But it's still not in you, but the neighborhood around y in y intersect with x. So this is like a semi-detached house. Fair enough, semi-detached. But newly old. 
，就是你们选一个墙壁 ，not an intersection。So T two is like 两个独立物，对吗 ？OK OK， so you, maybe you can think of T one as semi detached, ah T two as a bungalow, right? Both of them have bungalow. All of them have bungalow. Okay. Those and D D is a T three. So we go another level up. Ah,、uh, so what's level up again? So we no longer look at points only. Okay, we look at closed set. We look at closed set. Why we look at closed set in particular? Because closed set is the set that is equal to its closure. Okay, so you include all the limit points here. So if T three, okay, if for every closed set, okay, and point not in the closed set, there is this one. Again, there is this open set. So you can see ah、uh, in every example I was trying to use open set to ah、uh, separate stuff. So there is this open U and V such that ah、uh, S is in U, A is in V, and U and V should be. Having empty intersection. Actually, you see this property already, right? Now, when did you have this property? Yeah, the、yeah, assignment, of course. So, what's the condition inside the assignment that you can use this property? Yes, compact. Just compact. Yes, compact poster. Okay, at poster you can have this property. Correct or not? Remember the assignment question. You set what union ah、uh, intersection right or、so、what G ah、uh, what edge ah,、uh, correct or not? This is T three. So T three we ah、uh, credited to a mathematician called Viatoris, also very famous in ah、uh, topology guy. Actually, all these are doing topology or analysis work. This guy. Okay, E. I will call a space regular if、uh, the space is both T three and T one. Okay, so you require T three and T one here. Three and T one. F about T four. Okay, T four is the last level we go now. So T four ah from this ah、uh, pattern ah.、Uh, Do you have to guess what is T four here? What have we been separating? T zero we separate two point. T one we also separate two point. Okay. The difference between T zero and T one is maybe some of them has house, some of them didn't have house. Fair enough. T two then. T two everyone has a bungalow. Everyone has a bungalow. Very rich, ah, lots of. T three, we upgrade. We don't talk about two points already. We talk about a closed set and a point not in the closed set. Can I separate them or not? Okay. So do you want to guess what is T four? What's the next level? Ah, yes, separate two closed set. Okay, separate two closed set. So T four, ah,、uh, is for all. Close A B in X、uh, with A intersect B to be empty. Then I can find、uh, open U V such that、uh, A is in U, B is in V, and U intersect B is. Okay. Yeah. So, ah,、uh, the first step, ah,、uh, you study in pure maths, right? You need to really, ah,、uh, get acquainted with this、uh, definition. You need to find your way to understanding them. When I say find your way to understanding them, ah,、uh, is to understand using this like following definition, not using your own like how to say your own 
Maybe sometimes when you use your own thinking, right, you might put in uh, wrong concept. Okay, so you need to check. You need to check your own concept with this uh, definition. Okay, always align with the right thing. Because uh, maybe you are not wrong, you know, just that you are in a different situation. You get what I mean? Uh, maybe you are not wrong, right? You are in a different situation. Maybe you give yourself more restriction than needed. Okay, then uh, that easily leads to a lot of confusion, actually. Okay. Most of the confusion is because you put too many restrictions to yourself. Unnecessary one. Okay, last one. We said that uh, space is normal if uh, x is t4 and t1. Okay. So when you see, uh, there's two special special property here, regular and normal, where uh, where we put t3 and t1 and t4 and t1 together. This means what? What does this mean? Why we do like this? Yes, so if we do like this, this somehow suggesting that T3 might not be implying T1. So you might be able to find T3 space that is not T1 and T4 space that is not T1. So that's why we want to uh, have these two happen together sometimes. Okay. 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 All right, so how do we say we separate something? So how do we say that a two open set separate uh, the thing, two things? So let me write here. So, um, so we say that U and V separate, let's say A and B, okay, if A is in U or U and B is in V or B is subset of V and their intersection is empty. Okay. You know, when we say uh, two open set uh, two open set separates uh, two things, it might be a point inside there or it might be a set inside there. I didn't, I think I purposely didn't put open for U and V here because uh, I just uh, lift out this uh, separation, uh, I would say separation property here. Okay, so you can apply it to open U, open V. Okay, so uh, in picture, how do you see these things? Uh? How do you see these things? So let's see some picture. So how do you imagine this uh, T0, T1 stuff? So let's give us some space. Let's have uh, six of them. Okay, so let's start with the easiest one. Let's look at this space with two points. Okay, let's say the space is look like this only. Uh, every open set got drawn already. And can you comment about this space or not? Uh, let's say I think we don't have much info right now. Uh, if I type T0, not T1, right? I mean, not T0 how to see, huh? not T0 says what? For every two points in X, uh, there is this uh, open set that contain X and uh, Y not contain U. Oh, there's, there's this open V content Y, but X is not in there. Okay, so let's say this is the, I think we need to mention that maybe this is the indiscriptable topology. 
Okay, so in discrete topology, only have uh, M, T, Z, and X. Okay, so the, the oh, open set that contains these two points is just the total space. Okay, so I cannot differentiate this two point here. Okay, so let's say uh, more precisely, this guy with uh, in district topology is not T0. Okay, okay. So uh, how about T1? How to draw T1? Okay, how to draw T1? So T1, for every two point, there exists an open set get and separate each other. So T1 is like this. Hey, sorry, this is T1 or T0. It's also, and let me think. So T1 have to be both, right? So this one is T0. Okay. T1 have to be both. Like just now, what we draw just now, you could have one uh, neighborhood that separate the others, okay, and the other guy should also have a neighborhood that separate the others. But you allow intersection here, correct? Or not? Right. We allow intersection here for T one. Okay. If you don't allow intersection here, meaning you need to have two points, right? That the open neighborhood contains these two points as non as empty intersection. Okay. Then this is T T2, which is post off. T3? What happened to T3? T3 go uh, level up, right? Where we talk about closed set and a point. So we have a closed set and a point. Let's say we did not close set as this press circle here. Okay. And we have open set that separate to open. Two open set that separate. And T4, A. Hey, yeah, T4. T4, both point becomes. Closed set. Okay, if the closed set have empty intersection, then you can have neighborhood that separate both, both of them. Okay, so this is T. And remember, you can use this uh, diagram to remember the definition. Question or question? Feel free to ask and feel free to ask. Hmm. You can take smaller, but question is does the space allow you to take the smaller set? Does the smaller open set exist or not? If, if yes, then okay. If no, then no. Depend on the space you have. Ah. For example, in discrete topology, one can I be a smaller one or not? No one, because only the whole space is and the empty space. Uh, later we will deduce some implication, uh, but the other implication is not. So I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. T two implies T one. Most probably T1 doesn't equal T2. So you can come up with some example. Some example. Yeah. Yeah, it's natural to think that whether these spaces imply each other or not. Yes, there's some direction you have, but the other direction is not true. So I mean, let's look at some example here. Okay, so let's look at some examples. So just now, or actually in your assignment, right, you already know that compact subset of a host of space uh, is uh, T3. Okay. 
okay and let's look at the other that example which is t0 but not t1 okay t0 but not t1 okay so let's look at this one so consider this uh, right ray topology so what's this right ray topology here yeah? so i need to tell you uh, what are the open sets here so what are the open sets here of course in topology uh, empty set and real the whole space have to be open and then what else is open here is the uh, open interval from a to infinity so can you imagine this as a right ray or not you shoot towards infinity infinity and b and right ray make sense okay from a to the right right ray. okay so the claim is um what's the claim here the claim is uh, this r with tr is t0 but not t1 okay can you try and think for a moment why is this true You can go a bit lower, right? Open set that contains A. You can take A minus to infinity that contains A. A minus one to infinity, right? So if you're given two points inside R, what, what, what happened? How can you compare two numbers in uh, R? Yes, right. So one must be larger than the other. If you want to separate, if you want to separate these two points, right? What can you do with this red ray? Sure, you can choose the middle point. So, for example, um, there's this uh, open ray such that uh, y plus x over 2 to infinity, right? So, this guy should contain y, but does not, doesn't contain x. But can you do the other way around? Can you find an open neighborhood around X that can avoid Y? Cannot, right? Because you need to include everything after X. Okay? But you cannot find you such that you intercept such that uh, y is not in blue. Okay. Does it make sense? So, I mean, in this uh, real line here, what do you think? You have x here, you have y here, correct? Okay. And then your right ray topology must go all the way to the right. Okay. So if you pick uh, open set and x, it must go all the way to infinity as well. Then y must be in there. Okay. So, uh, so, so R, T, R is T0, but not T1. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, any question? One question? Yeah. Feel free to ask, huh? feel free to ask. Okay. Okay, how about second one? Uh, maybe you look at uh, core finite topology. Remember what core finite topology means? Something is open if the complement is finite. Okay. Complement is finite. So this topology is T1 but not T2. Okay, it's T1 but not T2. Okay. So how to show this? Show this. Huh? Can we show it in T one first? So what do you need to have for T one? For both of them, that should have an open set that miss out the other one okay so even x not equals to y in r what kind of open set that do the jobs maybe we do content x not containing y first You think so what kind of open set you need to look for the complement is finite yes just simply r take away y because the complement is just one thing i know so it's open okay. so similarly you can do the same for the other case where y is in the r take away x and x is not in r take away y. Okay, but it is not a t2. Why? t2 say what? And what does t2 say? Postdoc. Postdoc is the one that we're most familiar with, right? If there's two uh, x not equal to y, then there should exist. So for now, you need to show that for all open U V that contains X and Y, U intercept V must be non-empty. Is it clear or not? Clear why? So let's put down what we want to show. We want to show that for every okay, U V open u containing x, v containing y, such that u intercept v is not m. Okay. So remember that What's the complement of u? It's some finite point. Okay, maybe let's say x1, x2 to xn. Finite only must stop. Okay. We see that also some other finite point. Cardinality of uh, so if you take away finitely many things, still uncountable. So should they have something in common or in this two set here? Huh? Then what's that? Otherwise, you can use contradiction. You can use contradiction. Suppose um, the intersection is empty, okay, and then you should deduce that your R only 
may be just finite or countable. Okay. Yeah. Does it make sense? Don't oh, understand. Okay. So, okay, good. So, what you don't understand here? So, let me see. Uh, mm, there are a few things here. Why you don't understand is because you don't quite know what is called finite topology. So, what's called finite topology? Let me ask you. Complement. Sorry? No? What is X? Yes, the open set. Yes, the complement of the open set is finite. So um so there are two open sets we take here. Okay. So this in this case says what? So this actually this says that um e, uh, you union u c should be equal to r. And then the below it says that v union v c equals to r. Make sense or not? Okay. So my claim is with this, we can already see that u intercept v should be non-empty. Uh, should be non-empty, correct. You know why? Because uh, because this u c and u v here is finite. And R here, of course, we know that it is uncountable. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, I mean, of course, I mean, now I am just like, uh, how to say, uh, not being very precise, okay? To be precise, we need to go back to the cardinality argument. You need to um, speed it up. So you assume that it's empty, and then you know that their complement is finite, and then you add them out, then it shouldn't be uncountable, then your eyes not uncountable, then contradiction, something like that. But what I want to say is, uh, intuitively, you should think that there's much more thing in U and V. And this U and V things come from where? Come from R. Uh, you only throw away finitely many things in I. So you, I mean, how do you imagine intuitively for this uh, question here? You should imagine you have two real line. Okay, for this two real line, you only throw out finitely many things. Then you ask yourself, should they be an intersection or not? They should, right? How do you find an intersection? How do you find the non-intersected line? I mean, yeah. How to find it? Don't take the guy inside this complement, man. Correct or not? There are only finitely many you have to miss them. There are still a lot of choice you can. Yeah. Okay, no. In particular, maybe you see, uh, you, what I meant is only these few points you cannot take. There are so much other points that you can, you can take. Yeah, to be precise, uh, you need to use a cardinality argument. Okay, but this is an intuitive way to think about it. Any questions so far? So far, okay. No. Okay. okay um, so what's next? Time. Okay, maybe we can finish up the examples for this section and then later we can, we can prove some property. So let's do, let's do one more exercise. So, for example, let's do this one. So, R with lower topology is normal. What is normal? T4 and T1, okay? T4 and T1. So, T4 meaning, <laughs> sorry, you have to show that um, for every two closed set, you can separate them. T1 and okay, so you can uh, T1. You you can have one open set that contain one point not containing the other one. Okay, okay, good. Okay, um right. So I think we will do it once at all. 
Okay, so once and all, what do I mean here? So if we straight away regard uh, one point set as closed, then we can do it in the closed set manner. So can everyone see that uh, every uh, one point set here is closed? See that uh, one point set are uh, closed in the lower limit topology. Can I write it as a complement of open set or not? How do I write it? Can be write, written as R throw over who. A. X to A and then A to infinity. Is it open or not there? I, uh, I mean, do you need um, how to say, uh, double union here? Okay, we can use double union here. So maybe. Uh, Oh, sorry, open at Y, and then a, can we do it more nicer? Hmm? Sorry? Oh, this one, the negative N. So, why one over N? So wait, 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 slowly, slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh -huh. A plus one over N, two, N. Okay, and then open this thing. The other side, this one, okay, depend on A, right? Maybe A minus N? A minus N. Right Use A minus N. Then we take N from where to where? To 1 to infinity. This right side, where is it? This one, this one, no, 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 the Can or not? Everyone happy with this one? Okay, complement of some open set. Okay, good. Uh, so we realized that uh, to separate open set, I mean, one point is also separating closed set. Okay, so we just settle how we, uh, how we uh, separate two closed set. Okay, so to check normality. Suppose that uh, a and B are uh, disjoint closed set. So when we talk about, again, remind you, because we proved that one point set are closed. So when we talk about disjoint closed set, we're also talking about how to separate two points. So we discuss at one go. So how to separate this uh, two disjoint closed set here? So the claim is uh, for each point A, okay, we can choose a, we can choose a basis element. Okay. Looks like this A 
explain not intercepting e. okay and and for each point b and b we can choose a basis element b to xb not intersecting a okay and then what's the claim here so the claim here is if you consider the uh, union of this guy okay for example union of all points in a such that uh, half opening curve from a to xa and v equals to the union of all points b and b such that b to xb are disjoint disjoint open set obviously they contain a yeah? but why are they disjoint because of our choice so the real question you should ask is why for every point okay in a we can choose such interval that doesn't intercept the other set okay this is the real question you should ask so you should ask why that exists okay you should ask why that exists here okay if that exists then this claim should be easy to check okay? if it exists this claim is easy, easy to check so the hard part is why you can choose such uh, basis element that avoid the other set okay so this kind of problem uh, how to do it uh, suppose you cannot then you should derive some contradiction okay no, maybe you contradict that uh, the set is not closed or something like that okay you can choose this that uh, this claim is easy to follow already Okay, because this, that's that's exactly how you choose it. Okay, you choose it so that there's no intersection. Okay, and then you choose it for every point in A already. So you should contain the whole A, whole B. But why there is this such uh, element here? Okay, this is the point here. Okay, so this 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 existence here is very important. Because you don't have an exact closed set to work with, then maybe I suggest contradiction is better to you to, to check. Otherwise, you need to have description of closed set. For example, we have description of open set in R. So remember how long you prove that that proof that proof is like pretty long, right? Yeah. So unless you have a description of all the closed set in this set, otherwise uh, I suggest you to use contradiction proof and maybe contradict that the, the set you started with is not closed or something like that or contradict that a and b the intersection is empty something like that. okay so there are only a few things you can contradict here contradict that a is closed b is closed or contradict that uh, these two are actually not disjoint i think it, it can be worked out if not you let me know we can do next lecture Okay. Uh, if I got time, maybe I'll write out for you also when I uh, put out this uh, lecture notes. And then you can check. Okay. Does it make sense? Okay. Well, yeah. So when you study until this high level of uh, mathematics, right, this kind of uh, argument uh, should be easy to uh, construct by your own. Okay. You need to practice this kind of argument. If in first year, second year, maybe, uh, I can still uh, work with them because they are quite new. But up, up, up to third year already, then this kind of uh, checking you should be able to check your own. Yeah, this is the level we want. Not we, uh, but me. Uh, because uh, I'm not sure about the lectures here. All right. Yeah. But I, I but but having said that, uh, having said that, but uh, maybe you might feel how to say. It, uh, dishearten, right? Dishearten. What's dishearten? What's dishearten? What's dishearten? 
Ja, wo an? <lacht> Zwingen und ja. <lacht> Weiß nicht, was hat But that's, that's normal, you know. That's, that's, that's super normal. That's very normal. That's why you come to school, you know. Because exactly you come to school to learn. That's the point you come to school. If you already know why are you here, you don't need to be here anymore. Get what I mean? So you come to here, the only job is to learn. If you are not learning, then why are you here? This is a very simple question I ask. Okay. Does it make sense? Okay. Learn. So please learn, learn as many as you can. Okay. Uh, last few example uh, we will put into tutorial. Okay. So for example, um, every metric space is normal. Okay. We we'll put into tutorial. tutorial. And then uh, every compact hotspot space is also normal, just T3, but actually normal. Okay, you don't just separate a point and a closed set, but you separate two closed sets as well. I mean, you can easily think about how to generalize the proof, right? Correct. No? If you know how to separate, uh, I mean, in this setting, uh, in this compact hotspot setting, uh, if you know how to separate a closed set and a point, you should also know how to separate two closed set, right? Because that point can live in one of the closed set, and then you look at all points in the closed set, and then find that cover, find that cover, compare, find that cover, then just avoid the finite uh, intersection between the sub cover. Okay. And uh, last one is uh, every uh, second countable. Regular okay, space is normal. Okay, so when you read this second last point, uh, how do you understand this this sentence here? Uh, this is the this is how we separate uh, the study of algebra and analysis. When you when you look at the last sentence here, maybe you just read oh as long as this property this space has second counterpart and regular property, then it's normal. But for our like algebraic view of point, or I mean, I wouldn't say algebraic view, view of point, but from a deeper understanding of this sentence, what it means. So in your mind, you should have a hierarchy. At least I already give you a hierarchy, right? T0, T1, T2, T3, T4, like that. Okay? But where, where do I place regular and normal? Regular is what? T three plus T one. Normal is T four plus T one. So this sentence tells you how to go from T three to T four. What is the criteria you need? Second one. Okay. So this is how you like Brian asked me how to make sense of this sentence. So you need to read like this. Okay. Huh? You cannot just oh I just want to check or whether this uh, space for this property or not, then I got that property. You need to think how these properties get linked together. Huh? How this thing get linked together. How to go from regular to normal. It's second countable. But I wouldn't say, well, how to go from second countable to normal. This is like a bit far end. Because how you compare, second countable says what? It's countable basis. Huh? Normal eh, is a separation of these two, how to compare. But I can compare regular and normal. Because these two are different ways of separation forever. Regular separate one closed set at one point. Normal separate two closed set. So how do you generalize separation of one closed set at one point to separation of two closed set? Okay, what do you need? You need second company. What you can do is compare those now. Uh, compare those now. Say what? Post stop is T2. Eh? So you apply the same logic huh? for the fourth statement there. Fifth, fifth statement there. What does it mean? How to go from T2 to T4 all the way to T4? Eh? This is 
this is how you read mathematical statement. Okay, you just read as oh my space have to be compared also that is normal. Then bring normal this this thing this statement. But if you remember remember oh how to go from T two to D four oh I add in. Okay, how to go from T three to T four I add in second combinability. Of course I didn't prove here because uh, quite long, so we just put it into tutorial. Does that make sense? So this is how you should appreciate this uh, statement, mathematical statement. Uh,如果你要破零破用这些性能,OK,你要去想为什么我们会把这些东西配在一起。不是乱乱配的,就是我们在想一个题目,哎,就是很简单,但是我要introduce okay, 除了再加上这些S-Fly的东西，我们就可以。Does it make sense? So, the, so when we teach this uh, material, it's, it's very normal. But how to say normal? Uh, when you ask, it's very primitive, 很原始的。你们的问题很原始。因为我们数学已经发展到现在已经来五百年了,七千年了。这么多年了。我们的用词已经比较professional了。但是他回答的问题就是恰恰你在问的问题，其实，可是你不知道那个是你的答案，你要的答案。Okay, so one thing you have to learn in a max class is the language. Language 很重要，非常重要。嗯，但是要学这个 language 呢，你一定要有一个 skill，你要有一个 listening 的 skill。听，因为你不听啊，你没有新的 idea 进来，你不知道。你只能够用你自己的固有的思想去想想不到的你可以想到但是有时候很难花时间我就想花时间做做心所知道 那边简单有什么用？大家都没有学到东西，拿来做。对不对？Okay. So far, only any problem on this statement here? No problem. Hey, actually, you guys can show that metric space is all stuff, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, just choose because you got distance already and choose one. Actually, metric space is also. The metric implies also. Okay. Okay, in that case, uh, let's break until 1217.
Actually, two C two two is compact, but you but you use the fact that um close unit ball is compact in R. Okay, right, because everything behind K is zero already, so you can map isometrically, or you take a yeah. So, I mean, projection. No, we have. Okay, then we're going to do it. 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 也蛮突破的，两两突，两两给你是一样的，对不对？有，也。Otherwise， 要你刚才讲要 proof sequence 的 complex， 就是要去到那边有 proof 了，所以我们给 skip 掉那个 part。Use the fact that、uh, those unit balls are compact. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Compact and then uh, L two and L three is equivalent. Then our compactness is the same. Hmm. Yeah, use this hint, it should be okay. You can project, project into that lower dimensional space.
Any, anyone know what happened to DJ? Uh -huh. Anyone share same class, other class with him? Yeah, Oh, Tongue 他的其实在其他班就会出事就是他的 behavior 他的general Okay, uh, let's continue. Okay, so continue. Mm, if you notice, uh, if you notice, mm, the T1 property that we introduce. Uh, here is a bit different than the Moncris one. Okay, it's a bit different than Chris one. So a space is T1 if and only if for every singleton set X is close. Okay. So if you look at the Moncris group uh, with how they introduce normal uh, and regular. They suppose they are set is uh, close for every singleton set first. But in our case, we just assume it is T1. So this problem, this theorem will say that these two conditions are equivalent. Okay, these two conditions are equivalent. So so far what we did, uh, we only T1 only says what? Uh, maybe everyone got a semi data house. Okay, so uh, for every point, for every two different points x, y, okay, there is this an open set that contains x but not contains y. Okay, but how this can deduce that uh, the open the uh, singleton set are close? How to deduce? So which direction is easier? Which direction is easy here? Yeah, left to right. Why left to right is easy? Okay. What's left to right here? Suppose uh, x is t1, okay, and we have y not equals to x, 
next then then there is this and open u in y such that x is not in u so what does this mean eh? can you say something about the closure of a set excellent What's the limit point of the set? What does the limit point of the set have to do? What's the definition of a limit point? Contain. What contain? What, what thing need to contain? You need to start with quantifier. Huh? For all open neighborhood. Yes, but but previous sentence says what? At every other point. Oh, not containing guy from this set. So, so all this point cannot be the limit point of the set X. So this one is by definition of limit point. Okay. So nothing else is in there. Only this set only contains x itself. Okay. So hence x is close. This is for every y, true for every y. Cannot be in there. Not a limit point of this set. So this set only contains x is server. It's close. Okay. No other limit point. Okay. The other direction. So conversely, suppose that every singleton set is close. So we use we like the ballet or use the same property. What we get is for every uh, x not equals to y, okay, y is not in the closure of the singleton set x, and similarly, x is not in the closure of singleton y. But again, definition of limit point, that means what? So there exists. So if I, I mean for this line here, how you apply the definition? So there's this negation of a limit point. There's a normal neighborhood that contain y such that x is not in u. Okay, negation of the limit point definition. Okay. The other the other statement will give you the other condition of T1, which is that this is an open set containing x such that y is not in uh, the open set B. Thus, uh, x is T1. Okay, no? Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. So, this is just playing around with the definition of limit point. Huh? So, it's really important, no? Limit point is still going on, okay? So, I mean, um, so let's line up what we have now. So, you can really see that normal uh, implies regular, okay? Normal implies regular. Then that regular will implies post dot. Okay, and then host dog will imply T1, and then T1 will imply T0. Okay, this is true.
your question for this one here? Or you want to go through how each implication? Mm -hmm. Second, so regular T3 and T1, yeah. And then it must. So surely it must T1 right because of T1 already. Uh -huh. um, so if you have T4 plus T2 and uh, T1, then your uh, one point set become open, right? So you can apply T4 to get T3. Then, how to go from T3, T1 to T2? Because if you have T1, every one point set is close. Okay, so you can apply the T3 to two close points. I mean, two close single. Yeah. Okay. And then two to one to zero should be for straightforward just now. We'll briefly talk about. Even if you see from the picture also can. Okay. Yeah, can. Okay. okay. About this implication here. So really uh, we are using this uh, T1 if and only if the single term is close because T4 talk about separating closed set. So can you separate closed set and then separate singleton or not? Can if the singleton is close. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so find any question about this implication here. So I would I would uh, summarize here because uh, by previous uh, previous theorem. We know that a singleton set are close with then we can apply separation of of close set to separate uh, singleton set. Okay, so then. Separating closed sets. So separating involving closed set is and is the same is okay. separate separate separating involving closed set. Yeah. Apply and apply to separating singleton set. If you can separate, if you can separate singleton set, then meaning you can separate two points. points. Okay. okay. Any question so far? Okay. Let's look at a few more examples. And let's look at a few more examples. So let's give one more example here. Uh, how about consider set here okay, with indiscrete topology. Previously, what do we mention about this? Uh, what do we mention about this? How we mention about this set? Uh? This set is not T1, right? We said that. I'm hey, sorry, not T0. Okay. If it's not T0, is it T1? Also not T1. Okay, also not T1. Is it Hausdorff? Why is it Chimpo? Not T1 implies not T2. It makes sense though, because we have the proposition just now, right? Okay, good. Not T2. Then if I apply the proposition just now, also not, not regular, not normal. But you can ask the question, is it T3, T4? Because not regular, not normal, maybe just because it is not T1. Right? 
Could it be T3 or T4 or not? Yeah, T3. Why not? Give me counter example. That's T3, yeah. So I'm going to spring the state. So T3 have to talk about what? It's here. Okay, so T3 have to talk about uh, all close set A and all close not point not in there. So what are the close set here in, in this great topology? Right? Huh? Just a point? No. Who are open here? Who are open? At the end. So how do you ask about closed set? Complement of this guy, right? Complement of this guy? Still the same. Kind of X take away X, X take away MP set. Still X and MP set. Okay. So you have two closed set to consider here. X and MP set. Okay. So two close set, two close set, close space and empty set. So for every close set, uh, you need to pick a point that's not in there. X set, nothing to pick up. Then this statement recursively true already. Uh, or not. So for set, for set X, this statement is recursively true. For empty set, uh, a point to pick, right? How many points to pick? Two points. Maybe let's call them A and B. Okay. So for second and this set here, you need to pick A and B. So A and B. <coughs> does it uh come that does there exist an open set U V such that a is in U and MD set is in V such that U intercept V is a P. For instance, got two. Okay, so who is U? Tell me, who is U here? What can I take for you? I got my one hand. You have to contain who? X. So how many choice? Only two choice you can do, right? So you have to be one that contain A. Two choice here. Only two open choice. Excellent. Then what's open set have to contain empty set? What do you mean by saying X? Up? If you choose X, right, then X intercept X is X, or not empty already. So we can pick empty set. So become a problem of empty set is a subset of empty set. So that's why we taste this in the exam. So in this case here, yeah, X surely intercept with empty set is empty. So good enough for this point. But not enough, huh? you need to check for every X that is not in A. So you still need to check for B. How about B? Same no? similarly. Okay, true similarly. You can take U to be the X and then B to be the X. Okay, or no? So it's T3. So similarly, you can show for T, T4. T4 is one. T4 and T3, remember, what's the, what's the difference? Uh, what's the difference between T4 and T3? Yes, we, we change X to a closed set. Okay, so we change X to the closed set. So we change this one to a closed B. Such that uh, A intercept B should be empty. And then we change this one to B. It's a subset of U and then so on. But how many closed set here? 
two 咯 ，intercept 来 intercept 去就是他们两个罢了。我跟他们讲 ，then we can just talk about 啊、uh, x intercept empty set。So we talk about x and empty set。So who is the guy that contain x？ With the open set that contain x, the open set that contain empty set, such that their intersection is empty. X and empty set again, no. So the answer, like, like, is just this equal equation, right? Understand? Right? But you have to be careful. Oh, you have to be careful. One thing, oh, you can make a choice. Is you choose the open set, or you choose the x in x empty, also in x, right? Then you go into the death loop, right? X intersect X 不是 empty, okay? But the problem in this definition here is there exists, there exists, okay? 选一个有用的，要选一个没有用的。Okay, no. Yeah, this is the point of there exists, okay? 可以吗？很重要啊 ，there exists， 找一到一个有用的就好了，好不好 ？Okay. Okay. So this part is wrong. OK， 但是但是呃，数学好玩的地方就在这里，好玩的地方就在这里。你不要一直对，你要知道为什么这个错。好玩的地方就在这里，因为有时候啊，另外一个可以走另外一条路，可以做其他东西。啊，所以嗯，对，其实对，算到对，正确对数学是很有用，但是错也很有用，其实。因为为什么你会看到各种的可能性？就是我们在 introduce 这些 T one to T four， 我们就是在玩可能性啊。我们换点啊，点的那个呃 neighborhood 之间可以怎样互动？可以有 intersection 吗？可以没有 intersection 吗？啊，其中一个有，其中一个没有。然后不止我们看点，然后接下来我们看点跟 closer， 可以吗？啊， closer 跟 closer 之间可以吗？啊？所以数学啊，不只是对错吧，我们也要看错。OK， 错可能会给不同的 property 出来。OK， yeah， does it make sense？ OK 了。没有错，就是这个 point。That's right， that's right， 就是这个 point。错不是错吧？它只是不符合我们现在要的东西。对。所以有一句话叫做“道不同，不相为谋”。不是说你道错，只是说我们可能在不一样的呃 level。哎，我们就不要不要这样讲啊，不要不要 mix 哦，啊，不然的话可能吵架啊，怎么讲啊，也没有用啊，对不对？啊，你都不要听啊，是不是？啊，对不对？是这样讲 ，OK。Right， 嗯、um, ，Next， 几点啊 ？Twelve thirty nine。OK， maybe we do a one long。A bit long example here. So another example is R is house dog, but regular. Okay. What is R K? Ah, remember? Still remember what is R K? What's the basis element for R K here? Let's recall what's R K here. Remember, we introduced three type of、uh, topology for R. So just now we met one of them, right? The lower limit one, and this is the third guy we introduced last time. So what's the basis element here? What's this K representing? So these basis elements are almost the same as the Euclidean one, but we include those that is the complement of K. So what's this K here? This is like the Archimedean thinking. Okay, so Archimedean thing is this、uh, set of one way. We throw away points that's very close to zero, and then we de we declare the set are open. Um, so we want to show that it's Hausdorff but not regular. So let's do Hausdorff first. Anyone see why is it Hausdorff? Hausdorff is what? 
Yeah, February two point you have destroyed open interval. Is it clear or not? If you look at this, this is very confusing. Eh? But if you look at this, this is just Euclidean. Eh? Euclidean, you can separate two points. Can I? Okay, you just take, just now you teach me your idea. Right? Take the middle point and then you build your interval until then. That's all. Okay, so actually this guy includes the Euclidean basis here. So because uh, any two distinct points would have a disjoint open intervals. Yes. Neighborhood of one looks like. Okay. Can run okay with first dog? First dog okay or not? Okay. I mean this is really the same as uh, the Euclidean thing. It's more enough radius. Okay. So to say what's the um what's the what neighborhood at once looks like? Around one like this. I mean you can simply pick something less than one and greater than one, right? So I take all of the possibility here. You can take oh, that's that's what I comment just now. This set here looks confusing, but you also have Euclidean basis. This is the point that I made in that line just now. Okay or not? Yeah. Does it make sense? Two type two type of bases you if you like. Two types. Okay. One type is the normal Euclidean basis. The second type is the open interval throw where there's a one over n set, set of one over n. You know. Okay. Yeah. Let's say if you only have this, uh, uh, you throw away one or Yeah, then you are not basis. No? So like yesterday question, you, do, you are not basis. So you need to add something in. Good. Good, good. Okay. So next, uh, we want to show that uh, it is not regular. Okay, so this is where the second type of basis will give you this uh, problem here. Okay, it's not regular. So what's the re not regular means? Uh? Sorry, T3 and T1, right? But we already proved this is T2, right? So T1 should have, right? So you only can prove that it is not T3. Okay, so what's T3? If you have to show what is not T3, that means what's the negation? T3 is uh, comparing what thing and what. So you, close set. so you need to pick a point and a close set and then show that. Yes. Yes, it's not this one. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. Okay. So, what's wrong here? So, there's one obvious closed set here, right? There's one very obvious closed set here. So, about closed set, you should think about complement. There's one very obvious closed set here. K. Why K is closer? Because A B minus K is open. I already give you the hint already. A B minus K is open. So meaning K is close. So just take that one. Okay. So um, consider the set. K is close in RK. Okay. And this this set here doesn't contain what point? Also a very obvious point we can check. It's zero. 
Okay, maybe just check zero. If you like, maybe you can check other thing, but we will check zero in this case. Okay. So, I mean, we can prove by a contradiction. Okay, suppose on the contrary. Okay. Contradiction, how to do? So, let's say there exists, okay, there exists this joint open set. Again, okay, that contains zero and contains k. Okay, we want to we want to uh, build some contradiction here. So what can we do next? Um, so we can try and choose a basis. Okay, element. Yeah, contain in zero and lying in u. Okay. So this basis element here is very special if you want to contain zero. Okay. How special is it? So the claim here is, is it must be a basis element of the form A B minus K. Why? Why? Uh? Because if that A, B contains zero, right? What must happen? Set must contain the number in the form of one over n. But we assume what? We assume the intersection of um, intersection of U and this uh, A set is empty. Okay. okay, so our U should contain this kind of uh, basis element. Okay. So, how to draw a contradiction here? So, maybe I give you a picture here better to imagine. So, let's say we have a zero here. Okay. And then we have a A, B. Okay, basis element A, B that contains, uh, contains in U. So do I need to draw U for you? Let's draw U. Maybe U is somewhere outside. And then what can you do here? Obviously, obviously you can choose some uh, N large enough such that such that 1 over n is inside a, b. Okay, you can do it, right? Okay, you can do it like this. Then, then again, we can play the same trick for v. Okay, we can play the same trick for v. Uh, then, we can choose a basis element. Such that, uh, such that 1 over n is in CD and this guy is in B. Correct. V contains what? V should contain K. K, of course, contains 1 of these, 1 over n. So where is the contradiction here? So where is CD? Uh? How should you imagine CD here? General CD maybe it looks like this. Maybe. Outside of it. This picture almost got a contradiction already. Right intersection not empty. So how do we find out that intersection? Who is the culprit here? And who is the culprit here? So how to find out this intersection not empty? So very precise, huh? very precise here. So this is the last step. So finally, we can choose Z so that uh, Z is greater than the maximum of C 
n 1 over n plus 1 to 1 over n. So meaning you can pick uh, anything until c or you just pick up to 1 over n plus 1. Okay, anything greater than 0. And then this guy will be in, then Z will be in, U intercept. Okay. So this is a non density, uh, this is a uh, non trivial element inside the intersection. Okay. Oh, well, this is a contradiction. Okay. So the proof, though, so what's the strategy in this proof here is we might not have control on U and V, but we have control on the basis element. So we can analyze U and V using basis elements here. Okay. And then we prove that these two basis elements that live inside this U and V uh, must have non-empty intersection. Then the smaller thing don't have non-empty intersection, then meaning the larger thing also would have a non-empty intersection. This is precisely what we have found in Z here. I put that. Yeah. Any question? Any question? Any question? Yeah, so we pick this uh, maximum of C and one over N plus one because our K our k is like 1 over n, 1 over n, 1 over n, 1 over n. 1 over n, 1 over n plus 1. So you cannot reach to uh, negative 1. So we want to avoid our c to be negative, maybe. So we pick either you go to the next 1 over n plus 1 is enough already. And that this range here is enough. So the, the, the point here is this range here is enough to show the non empty intersection yeah. of course you can go all the way to zero but not zero yeah. so if c if c is uh, negative then you just pick the one of the n plus one then you will make sure that you link inside uh, the range of uh, the how to say the range uh, the interval inside your one over k i'll say the interval that are met up by the one over n. Yeah. That make more sense. Yeah. If you want one over n plus two, also can uh, is the same thing. Right. Over n plus two. Because our one over the 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 um the open set that contains one over k right, might not go to negative. Correct. Right. Might not go to negative. You can go to negative, but might not. Because to contain 1 over k, our 1 over k is just a stop before 0. Make sense or not? Our 1 over k lives somewhere here, very close to 0, but doesn't approach 0. So my open set could be 0 to something else, 0 to 1, or maybe. 0 to 1 is one of the open set that contain k. Very long. Uh, no, 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 cannot, cannot until 1 only. Maybe go to 2, 1.5, or 1.1 also can. Need to be a bit away from 1 because, uh, because our opens, our, our bases are open interval. Okay, cannot. Okay, so for example, for example, so let's talk about this. You see, yeah? so we have one, one over two, one over three, and so on, right? So who are the open set that contain this guy? So maybe you could take zero up to one, one, and it's maybe, okay. or you can take zero up to two, or maybe you can take negative one. There are a lot of cases, but the most restrictive one should be this one. 
the positive guy. Okay. If your C go to negative, then you cannot just use the negative C to show this uh, non-empty intersection because you might pick someone outside the intersection. Okay, yeah, this is a proof analyst. Yeah, this is proof analyst. This is not the not um, the proof idea. So uh, if you want to analyze this proof, you should play around with this maximum point, okay, maximum point, and then play around with the C here. Okay. So maybe this is a why uh, why pure max argument get somewhat abstract because in this argument you actually consider all the cases. Okay, so you can see that all the cases here, I think two types. One type is you have a negative left endpoint for your open set, and zero and zero. And then open set of containing K. So you need to consider all these cases. So the safest way is to consider the cases of uh, starting with zero. Because if you settle this, if you found there's a non intersection between this kind of uh, interval, surely within this uh, negative left hand point, you also will have non empty intersection. Because the non empty intersection I found here is from zero all the way to the something to the right. Yeah. Does it make sense? Uh, for now, I, I'm just talking about proof analysis. Uh, I, I'm not talking about how to prove already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can play around with this C actually, yeah. And then you will see, oh, this whole argument actually quite makes sense. Does it make sense? Okay, yeah, yeah please play around, eh? play around with this number. And then you can argue for yourself. Any questions before break? Okay, so for the, uh, so the, for the last word, last word for my assignment, two, two, uh, the last C, Part two, right? Okay. Uh, for the norm of vector less than one and then zero or the back, uh, you can make a projection or isometry to RK. So everything norm less than one means what? Actually, there's a closed unit ball. So if you have a closed unit ball inside a RN, okay, RK or RN, okay, finitely dimensional uh, Euclidean space, then it is compact. So it's compact actually. Okay, and you can use that uh, L2 norm and L infinity norm is equivalent. Okay, I will put a knot inside the team chat and then you can use it. I will put a hint for that. Okay, 